What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and please consider hitting that subscribe button. I get asked this question all the time. High pressure fuel pump. What is it? How does it work? How do I know if it's going bad? Um, uh, high pressure fuel pumps are actually pretty cool. Um, they're mechanical. And I actually have one here with me that I took out of that 1.6 liter uh, EcoBoost from that 2014 Ford Escape so I can actually show you how it works. First of all, what is it? Uh, it's basically a mechanical device with a solenoid. And how does it work? Well, what is the reason for them? It's for gasoline direct injected engines and EcoBoost is turbocharged and it is direct injected. The 2018 Mustang and newer is direct and port injected. It is not turbocharged. And the 2018 and newer F-150 with the 5.0 is direct injected and port injected. It utilizes both as well. So it has one of these bad boys on it. This one is still in good working condition and it still has a little bit of fuel in it. That's why I have plastic laying around. Um, so it's actually been around since the 90s. They just become more popular here recently and it's for fuel efficiency, uh, fuel efficiency, uh, better emissions and more power. Um, Cause it is taking this and directly injecting it into the cylinder. It's not going through the port over the top of the intake valve and into the combustion chamber. It's going directly into the combustion chamber. Um, they work basically mechanically and a solenoid. So what does it do? So the low pressure fuel pump in the tank sends fuel through the fuel line inside and then there's a chamber you see it dripping a little bit of fuel there's a chamber inside here and it's filling up with fuel but this has a spring on it and it sits inside of this bucket which sits on top of the camshaft this is full and this pressure sensor is talking to the PCM so the fuel pump in the tank is about 49 PSI give or take these are upwards of 2000 PSI so fuel goes in into this little hole right here and you can see there are little holes fills in this chamber here the camshaft lobe pushes on this bucket which pushes the spring which actually compresses up inside of here and squirts it out this way into the fuel rail at about 2000 psi depending on engine load and and all that good stuff so and it's also like I said, depending on engine load or anything like that, but it's being read from this fuel pressure sensor. So goes in, fills up inside here, camshaft pushes on this, squirts it out. And it literally squirts it out like a pressure washer. Um, the, like I said, the intake pump is responsible for pumping enough fuel to the engine. And then the high pressure GDI gasoline direct injection pump is responsible for creating enough pressure because the direct injected engines have to have enough pressure to atomize the fuel correctly. That's basically the whole purpose of this. Um, basically the setup keeps the fuel pump closely aligned with the engine. Like I said, it sits on top of the camshaft and I'll, I'll go outside to my truck in a minute and show you where it's located at. And I also have a little video clip that I'll put in here that I took the engine that I took this off of you can see the camshafts and you can see the hole where this sits in and you can see the camshaft that it sits on top of. This one is not in bad, bad shape. It's got like 80 something thousand miles on it that the engine I took out of it. But you can see where the camshaft rides on it. And you can see inside here. And it's got little holes, see the little holes in it? That's where oil goes in through the bottom because there's actually an oil galley that goes up inside there to lubricate this on the inside. Also, it gets lubricated around the edges because there's a hole that puts it around because this thing is constantly going up and down. Camshaft spinning, this thing's moving. That's when you hear a lot of the ticking noise and stuff like that. People are like, my engine's ticking. It's, you're basically hearing this high pressure fuel pump. You could be hearing a purge valve too as well, but or the injector's ticking. These things can get pretty noisy. And how do you know if it's bad? Well, your vehicle is going to be pretty sluggish going uphill or you try to accelerate. It's going to shake a little bit and jerk. Um, 
we've actually pulled them out of vehicles before and I think Ford Boss did too as well. There was like holes worn in the bottom of this, like a hole. There's another technician at work working on a transit, I do believe. And it had misfires on every cylinder. And he pulled the pump out. The inside that you look down inside there, it was just caked up and gummed up. This right here was literally worn through and it was worn on here as well. So it wasn't pressurizing the fuel basically just metal everywhere so that person actually needed camshafts uh, fuel pump the bucket and I think it was so bad to the point after he got to diagnosing it more that it needed an engine because they were doing their oil changes and you know we're pretty adamant and we preached you guys you know 5,000 miles this is an EcoBoost engine you know 3,000 miles to 5,000 miles don't push it over five she went 22,000 miles and it completely just ate the bucket. It ate the bottom, the plunger. And this is a really, really tough spring. I can't even push that. Well, I mean, I can a little bit, but. So those are signs of you'll know that's going bad. It'll be louder than normal because if this gets worn out, it's. And just imagine that at, you know, 1500 RPMs, you're just clackety clacking. Um, there's, like I said, the fuel pressure sensor. The sensor helps the powertrain control module, the PCM, change the volume entering into the inlet. So the high pressure pump creates about 2000 PSI and the sensor and the PCM regulate to keep the fuel pressure at an ideal level for it to atomize. So temperature, engine load, uphill downhill are you stomping on the pedal are you not stomping on the pedal are you just sitting at idle um, when the tank when the tank pump sends fuel in um, the low pressure enters the fuel through the top or basically inside here I explained this earlier there's an armature inside of here with a rod that connects to the control valve plate down here at the bottom or on this one maybe in the top uh, it pushes the fuel into the pumping chamber. It's like I said, chamber. It's called a pumping chamber. The camshaft pushes the bottom of this. This constricts it on the inside. And then once that constricts, it's got to go somewhere. So you're putting a lot of force behind that, and it causes the fuel to shoot out. Literally shoot out. And it pushes it up and down at a rapid pace. So you'll get. That's this how this thing works. You got an inlet and an outlet, and the sensor. So this one, if you're facing me, like this, this is the inlet. This is the outlet. Goes around to the fuel rail, fills it up. This is the sensor. This would be the back of the engine. It would be like you're facing it. So, like I said, sluggish vehicle, you'll probably get some misfire codes, not all the time, most of the time you will. You'll get four, uh, poor fuel economy. Uh, it's just lots and lots of things because you're dealing with fuel. You're going to get loud clacky noises, louder than normal, and it's going to run like crap. You're going to get probably some codes for low fuel pressure. So when I get misfires and stuff like that, and I look at the service history to see when's the last time they had an oil change, how long are they going on oil changes, um, then I'll kind of go from there. Have they ever had spark plugs done? And then I'll kind of pull that up and then pull that bucket out and look at it and look at the camshaft. And that's how that other one was found as well. And it's the guy that works on is a really good technician. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go outside to my truck and I'll show you how it's hooked up on there, where it comes from, where it goes out and let's go do that make sure i got my keys it's really cool how they work like i said they've been around since the early 90s they've just recently become very popular and all these ecoboosts it's all about emissions and fuel economy
you look at mine, this is my high pressure fuel pump. This line right here is the one coming in from the tank. It goes into the inlet, goes into this chamber, the camshaft is spinning down here, it pressurizes it and squirts it through this line right here which wraps around, goes down back there, and then up underneath the intake to the fuel rail. And that, my friends, is how a high-pressure fuel pump works. Appreciate you guys stopping by. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one.